Hey guys, what's happening? It's Steve here, and today I'm bringing you an exciting little video. Uh, this is actually a review video that's brought to you by the good homies at Bombing Science. And if you guys haven't ever heard of Bombing Science, you've probably been living under a rock because they're one of the biggest uh, graffiti websites out there. Uh, they've got everything you could need from graffiti uh, spray paint to caps to markers to black books. Uh, they've pretty much got it all. So if you guys need some graffiti stuff, uh, check them out. I'll leave a link in the description below. Uh, one of the reasons that I actually like them myself is the fact that when I order products, they're basically at my house within two business days so I think that's amazing uh, I don't know how long it will take you around the world but I definitely know that they're on their stuff they don't mess around they make sure you get your stuff on time so yeah I definitely got to give it to them for that uh, but I'm actually uh, coming to you today with this little review because they were kind enough to send me some uh, flame blue spray paint now I've actually never used this spray paint before which I think makes for a really good review video because uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and give it a go and kind of explain to you guys whether I like it or not or what things I do like about it uh, but yeah in order for me to do a thorough review of this paint I feel like I have to do a piece I'm not just gonna go ahead and use the paint draw a couple lines and uh, call it a day I think I really got to put this stuff to uh, to a good test so we're definitely gonna drop a piece at the end of this video so stay tuned for that uh, but in the meantime I'm actually gonna go through some graffiti caps that they've also been kind enough to send me uh, as well they've also got a very thorough line of graffiti graffiti caps so definitely check them out uh, but yeah I'm just gonna get into this review I know you guys want to see it so yeah thanks for tuning in guys uh, I appreciate it I'm sorry I haven't made a video in a while but yeah let's just get to work so here we go Alright, so the first cap that I'm going to use today is one of my favorites. It's a German Skinny Pro. It's a skinny cap that creates clean lines and sharp edges. It sprays between 0.4 and 1 inch wide. Uh, it works well with paints such as Molotov Premium, Molotov High Pressure, Iron Lac, German Montana, and Belton Cans. Now again, I think this is a great cap for doing outlines and you can even do a little bit of your fills with it, but it's a very precise cap. So the next cap that I'm going to be using is the blue dot cap and it's basically a thicker outline cap. It's considered a medium outline cap. Uh, they basically have a really soft spray. The spray diameters are about two to four inches depending on how close you hold it to the wall. And yeah, they're pretty much your cap for anything like outlines or force fields uh, where you just want the line to be a little bit thicker. Now the next cap on my list is the German Universal and this cap pretty much sits in between the last two as far as line width goes. Uh, it's a very precise and clean cap. Uh, it's also got a low pressure quality to it which means that when you're doing something like an outline or a force field uh, the paint's not flying out of the can too fast. Uh, it also works with most spray paint uh, brands so that makes it a great cap for pretty much you know whatever paint you've got lying around. Now the next cap on my list is the Sharpshooter Super Skinny. Uh, it's got a very skinny nozzle which makes it great for all sorts of detail work and anything uh, that's not too wide. Uh, now in this video I think I uh, had my can at a bit of an angle so obviously the line looks a little bit wider than some of the ones that I previously did. Uh, but this is still, uh, this is meant for all your fine details. So if you guys give it a try and hold it nice and close to the wall, uh, you will get those precise lines that you're looking for. Alright, now this next cap is for all you bombers out there. Uh, this is a cyclone cap and it's pretty much one of the fattest caps in the game. Uh, it can spray up to about 6 inches in width depending on how far away you hold it. Uh, it fits on most cans from Iron Lac to Molotow to Flame Paint and I'd have to check a few other brands but it's definitely one of the widest caps you can find making it great for bombing. Now this next cap is known as the snowball cap and this cap is great for filling in any style of piece. Uh, unlike the cyclone that I just showed you guys, this one's a little bit thinner so it definitely allows you to fill in pieces that have a little more detail than something like a bomb or a character. Uh, this fits on anything from Molotow to Flame Paint to Iron Lac to Montana or Belton. Uh, it pretty much fits on most brands so again I would really recommend this for filling in any style of piece. Now this next cap is your Lego Thin Cap and this is pretty much a lot of people's favorite caps for doing anything like outlining or tagging. Uh, it also allows you to do some pretty cool flares so it's great for that. Uh, it fits on most paint brands from Molotow to Iron Lac to Flame to Montana to Belton. Uh, and yeah, it's pretty much a standard cap, but I'm not a huge fan of it as I find it tends to hurt my finger after a day of painting with it. But yeah, it's definitely a good all around cap so I'd recommend it for that. 
Next up is the Royal Soft Cap. Now although this is supposed to be a fat cap, I think it's more in between a fat and a skinny cap. Uh, it's definitely ideal for doing anything like blending or fades as it's got a really soft touch to it. Uh, the paint doesn't come out too quick, it just gives you a nice soft spray uh, which obviously makes it great for blending and anything like that. Uh, yeah, it kind of sits between a fat cap and a mid cap so I definitely recommend it for anything to do with fills. Now this next product isn't necessarily a cap, but it's actually what's known as a wing cap adapter. Uh, this basically allows you to connect your caps with any hardware store paint of your choice. Uh, it will work on brands like Rust-Oleum, American Accent, and Painter's Touch. And it pretty much allows you to use any paint at your disposal. So this is something I'd recommend to people that don't always want to uh, go out and buy the best paint or have the means to do it. Uh, this will allow you to use your... Uh, your different size caps with uh, any paint of your choice. Now the final cap on my list today is the Smoky Skinny Cap and although this is considered a skinny cap I think it's a little bit fatter than most of them uh, which makes it great for doing fills and you know you can get away with doing outlines but it's not really my preference uh, it can be compared to a gray dot or a gold dot uh, but it's got a little more pressure than most uh, skinny caps so I think it's uh, definitely a good cap if you know how to use it but uh, yeah it's not totally my preference as far as outlines go but uh, yeah give it a try yourself and see what you like Crafted or saturated into past the map it. Rafted in an ocean Package the damage so yeah Wait you're patiently stationary Carving grapes aimlessly To paint the pain you got to cut yourself so lazily Raise the sharp laser beams Taser me your brains can't breathe I got a snippet woe for the bridge And the bone is full of mystery My ethics may be your worst point So the rift it seeps and opens Ghostly loner Hyper grown up An orthodox like a tofu Rain powers Made to raise and grow flowers Hours See my drain and rise and under water New the alarm pansy cracking dead teeth Sack to make beats Rackets and laughter I craft the A stream The clay's been molested In the name of art It's irreversible and infinite So at the shot it's time to start And sample what you can Twist it make it bang Add slang Boom a rank of remix To get fixed Pissed let the lips kiss Grab the bar and tip it Bad food but fuck it I bet I'm rough losing weight anyway Degenerate Broke celibate prayers Wrestling in pairs Worldwide investment in chairs Yo this Sit is down. how I'm able to reflect Project fables and sketch I sip the brew and mix the weed with cigarette To release stress I bless mics Break it down like enzymes I'm blinded by the headlights in my rear view Looking back on memories I wanna shed a tear to blur my vision Need to get this poison out my system Spit sedition over winter breaks and rhythms Relaying street parables and schisms In the life we have been given Sin more sights than a city pigeon And I'm slipping Stitches, tapestries of death cooks within the devil's kitchen Cauldron born men and women Might see me on the roads hitching Lifts with the council service Observe the hermits Make stacks through the ounces Purchase burn scriptures in the furnace Some seek churches for a purpose Imprint my mind with a heavy exertion I grab the mic and preach a lost sermon Alright guys, so I did a quick little piece there as you see and uh, I gotta say I really like the flame paint. Uh, I like that it's low pressure, like if I'm ever going to do a piece I'm not going to use uh, something that's high pressure that's just going to create a lot of drips uh, which I don't even want to think about. So yeah, I definitely think this is a good paint. Uh, it's got great opacity obviously being a Molotow product, uh, they definitely know what they're doing. Uh, and yeah, I just gotta say I, I, I really like the paint. Uh, the price point's really good. I think it comes around 580 a can. So yeah, I think it's a great product and I think you guys should give it a go. All right, take it easy. Peace. Beyond the word, disastral meaning. Was it crafted or saturated into past the mapping?